Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join me today out here in the vegetable garden. You know, it's a beautiful day here in Pennsylvania. It's May 17th, so we're two days past our frost date. And so it's time to plant those warm weather crops. I also have these Can uh, Canada Crookneck squash seeds that I saved. I had a couple big Canada Crookneck squash, and so I saved the seeds. And so today I thought I would direct sow some of them in one of my planter beds down below my pond. I have four raised beds there. They're about 30 inches wide by five feet long. I recycled them from some old picnic tables. So anyhow, uh, thanks for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden. So anyhow, follow me along and I'm going to show you where I'm going to be direct sowing these seeds. And so when you plant these too, you want to make sure that you have a good six to eight hours of sunlight. You know, I always tell people that anything with a root or a fruit, you want six to eight hours of sunlight. You know, the more the better. You know, plants like tomatoes, zucchinis, peppers, potatoes, you know, carrots, they all like a lot of sun. And uh, no different with the squash, you know, they like a lot of sun. I see Bailey's joining us in the garden. Now you're gonna be in the way, so you're gonna have to move over here. Uh, but anyhow, I saved these from the Canada Crookneck squash that I got. I got a couple big ones at a, in an auction for a dollar. And so I did a video on how you can, how I cook my Canada Crookneck squash. Plus I also saved the seeds. And so, you know, you can, especially with heirloom variety, you know, you can have an endless supply of food. You know, you just save the seeds. So it's just a win-win situation. And so I've been drying these out for a couple months. And I'm just gonna plant about eight of these and. Uh, of the ones that come up, I just want to save two plants. And I'm growing these also in my composted leaf mulch that's amended with topsoil. I get that locally from Barnside Farms. I get it anywhere from five to ten yards per season. It's, you know, the cheapest way for me to get compost. And again, you want to make sure you have good sunlight. So I'm going to plant these about an inch and a half deep. You want to make sure your soil is nice and fine. You don't want it to be clumpy. You want your seeds to, to have good contact with the soil. And so then I'm just going to simply backfill with my hand here. And it never hurts to mark your, your rows. I have two little sticks here that I'm going to just mark, mark where they are. Gives you an idea where you need the water. And then just firm it, the soil back with your hand, or if you want to use a trowel or a small rake. And then you want to make sure you keep these well watered during the germination period and then throughout the, the garden season. I'm really looking forward to, to doing a, a video harvesting these because these things were really big uh, when I ended up buying them. It was amazing what I got for a dollar. And then also, uh, what, since I have deer on my property and sometimes rabbits, although deer is more of an issue, I have a fence section that I use right here and I'm just going to cover these up with a fence section to, to keep the uh, deer off them. And then once they get mature or near maturity, then I'll, I'll take these off. So anyway, I hope this was able to give you some tips and ideas on how you can direct sow your Canada crookneck squash in your garden. And so uh, I just want to thank you for joining me today out here in the garden. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the section below. And you can also visit us at plantsmartliving.com. And there you can learn more about gardening and also how you can reclaim your health by adopting a whole food, plant-based lifestyle. 
So anyhow, I hope you have a wonderful day today. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Thank you.